Hello everybody and welcome back to Grid Legend Story Mode. Grid Legend Story Mode Driven to Glory. Now I, I hope today I can get closer to finishing it. I mean I'm really close. I really am. Cause last time we did What was it? Right, I think we started with the perfect recipe, then we did Cry Havoc, Headhunters, Catch My Drift, and that one. So yeah. As you all know, as of last episode, we are on our own. At least for a little bit. You got that right. Seven weeks since accident. Finish sixth or higher. Just give it your all. Focus on this race and try to secure. I'm driving an M1, ain't I? Hang in there. Yep. Say hello to. Wait, is this a BMW? Yeah, I believe this is. Say hello to the BMW M1. To the outside, inside, inside. There we go. Alex Favreau. I wonder if he's related to John Favreau. Not. This is a fictional universe, so probably not. Ugh. Ugh. He'll give you the clothes. And then you lose, lose all control. Who give you the call? There's not a lick of damage on this car. Like, really, like I said in the last episode of this, what has gotten into me recently? I have been driving as clean as can be here recently in this game. Like, really, as of recent, we've been... Well, what, what was I saying about no damage? There's a little bit of damage on that right side. But really, I've been driving so clean, maybe barely making contact with other cars. We are pushing this for Yumei Tanaka. We are driver 22 for Seneca Racing. You may would want us to push.
Yeah, there's a little bit of damage on that right side. We got a fine line between balance and unbalance. And we're right on that balance line. I feel like I'm one of the few YouTubers, gaming-wise, that still covers this game. Because I enjoy this game. I wish EA would give us a continuation to this. Because this was really good. Plus, we would know what's-his-face's plans for the future of Raven West. But as you all know, if you... But at the same time, spoiler alert. If you all didn't know this, the guy that makes an appearance at the end of this game, he is the villain from Pro Race Driver, also known as... Toka Race Driver. He was, um, Ryan McCain's rival. Ryan McCain, who owns Raven West in this game, and probably the entire grid universe at this point. You play as Ryan McCain in Toka 1. Toka Race Driver 1, also known as Pro Race Driver in the U.S. Now, at some point, guys, I, I want to say this. If you all tried to watch the World of Outlaws... I'll, I'll, I'll be quiet for here for this, because we got a cutscene. And this is where it gets messy. When do I get to drive those? Eliminated. Not just from the race, but from the season entirely. Until we are left with just eight teams going through to the gauntlet. Like, actually, when do I get to drive those? He's going to say something rude. Oh, come on, Nathan. You don't have to be rude about everything. You're just a rich prick snob. But, as I was trying to say before that cutscene came on, if you all tried to watch that World of Outlaws live stream I did, which I'm recording this on the 28th, so I don't know when this will get uploaded or whatnot. If you all tried to watch that World of Outlaws live stream, I did three attempts at it. I'm gonna say this, that may not be the finale. We may come back to it. We might, at some point, before the new game comes out. I can't confirm when, but we probably will. Ten weeks since the accident. Finish sixth or higher, that's and that's what we are going to do. Why does this car already have damage? I wish we had the boost in these. Boost would be interesting. Especially a one lap boost. 
where you get a boost like every lap. That would be interesting. But at the same time, like I was saying for that live stream, I want to say in the near future, I'm thinking about maybe the Friday the 30th. I'm thinking about... Huh? Now, as I was trying to say, I'm thinking about maybe doing a Hot Wheels Unleashed 2 Hot Wheels Acceleracers DLC expansion livestream at some point. Because I've played through the DLC before. It's alright. There's no cutscenes or anything, but it's still pretty good. Oh, great. Now Laura hates my guts. Just because I barely tapped her. That was the first time I tapped her, by the way. Yeah, this car isn't going to be super clean, but when you're in these trucks, you got to expect to not race completely clean in these trucks. There's no way you can. You go into a turn with them, and you're going to be up on three wheels. Especially if you're going, like, super quick. Like, look at that. I'm up on three. I was just up on three wheels. Going into that turn. But as I can say, somewhere in the near future, we, we will be seeing more Fortnite content on the channel at some point. The Fortnite Rocket Racing NASCAR stuff, that will continue once they release the next track that they plan to release. Which, I don't know what's the next track they plan to release. But, this is all I'm going to say. The only way I'm going to end up continuing... NASCAR Arcade Rush, which I already uninstalled the game, by the way. The only way I'd continue that is if I do it on a live stream, because we can probably finish all the championships that's in the remainder of that game on a live stream. Because, yeah, each championship has three races. So, yeah. Uh, let me continue. And, like I said, there's no way you can completely maintain control. Come on. There goes Laura. And there, Nathan just nearly made it by me. I would have rewinded there, but I didn't. Excuse me. As we just mounted a comeback. Let us continue. 
on our journey to the end. Because we are really close. But genuinely, like I'd say, at some point, I, I'm thinking about maybe doing Grid 2019, but the problem is, there's nothing to do in it. Oh, let me be quiet here. That's a Mazda Fury, by the way. I hate to tell you, EA, but that car doesn't exist anymore. Are we in stock cars, please? Please. 12 weeks since accident. Finish fourth or higher. Yes! Yes! This is basically an old NASCAR Chevrolet SS. Basically. It's basically an old cup car. Yeah, let's do this. We're in my element now. You're in my style of racing now, boys. Let's give them a show that they will never forget. I love these old cup cars, by the way. I, I, I know there's probably going to be some people in the comments saying, those aren't cup cars, but I hate to tell them, but yeah, they are. They got these designs off of like an old cup car but here's also the thing this cup car here was also in 20 grid 2019 but there is another one in this game I'm not talking about the truck the truck is basically in the tundra I'm talking about the other stock car that's in this game. It's based off like the old Chevy Luminas. <sighs> Literally, I, I feel like nobody watches these just because I talk through a lot of them, but at times I'm quiet. I want to be entertaining. I will say that. I want to be entertaining for you all. I really do. I want to be entertaining, but at the same time, I know I can't be all that entertaining. But I like this track, too. I hope I unlock... I actually, I may actually already have this track unlocked. It's like a bigger style of... It's like a bigger Indy. It's literally Indy, but bigger. Even though, yes, Indy is in the game somewhere. I don't know where, but it is. But here's the thing. This is this and then maybe Indy, I think. Those are the only two ovals in the game. There are no other ovals in the game that I know of. <sighs> Genuinely, what EA needs to do to succeed right now. I know a lot of people are going to say, don't make a sequel to this game. I want to follow up to this game. I do. But, if they, what they should do, they should bring back the Dirt franchise and do a sequel or a pred... Not a predecessor, but a successor... To Dirt Showdown, a sequel to that. Because I know me and a lot of other people really enjoyed that game. That game was really good.
Or even remaster it, shoot, yeah, even, like, if you just would remaster that game, it'd be good. Cause look at what TT Games did to the LEGO Harry Potter games, and both of them are a masterpiece. One through four and, well, five through seven isn't that great, but when they remastered them, they did a good remastering on both of those. But I mean, that, that's not racing related, that's gaming related though. As you all know, I used to be a racing channel in a way. We're not really a racing channel anymore. We're more of a gaming channel. As you all know, I'm, my channel's name is literally Messenger Gaming. I'm gonna continue. So let's continue, shall we? But I feel like in this game, there's some stuff that happens off screen. Like there has to be some stuff. weeks since the accident. Finish fourth or higher. This race decides if we get into the gauntlet or not. One last push to show everyone we're still fighting for this. Keep holding on. And we're driving FE cars, Formula E cars. And as I mentioned in that earlier race, with the trucks, these were the only cars that actually have the boost built in, but it wasn't per lap. You had to make it through the thing. Are these things on turp? Yeah, these things have to be on turbo fans or something. Cause you all seen that, right? There's the boost gate. Let's go. If this was actual Formula E, you would probably get penalized just for making even slight contact. And we don't even talk about the disgrace of AI-driven F1 cars. Gosh. Driven fuel up, not driven fuel up, daily fuel up, talk about that in a video, and gosh, that series is an absolute disgrace. I don't like Formula One or, well, Formula E. I don't follow it. I know some things about F1. All I'm going to say is modern day F1 is not very good. You go from the 70s all the way to the... 2000, you had good, perfect racing. You get to the mid-2010s, and that's where it all went away.
We're really close to finishing this base game story, guys. I'm go I'm gonna say that much. I got a feeling that back wing is going to come off. There's no way that back wing doesn't fly off before the end of this. Or even the front one, because that front one's looking a little, a little wobbly right now. That front wing is really looking wobbly right now. Oh, wait. I was right. They're with the, the front wing. Don't know where it flew off, but it did somewhere. Watch the rear wing fly off too, and I'm not even... Oh no. Oh no. We got a... Car expired. Claire Fox is blown up. I didn't see that one coming. It looks like a one of those like drone cars in a way in the front. And we're coming down to the line. I'm going to exit out of this road to nowhere. I'm probably going to do one more event for this video, guys. We still have 12 minutes left to record. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go back to the main menu and see where we're at. Because I know we are really close to being at the end. We are really stinking close. Banner unlocked. Okay, we're back in the fight. We're back in the fight. So we have these six events remaining. Back in the, back in the fight. Tag team, you may proceed. No pressure, all or nothing, and this is it. Yeah, I think this is going to be the last one I do. Because we started off at... Hanging on. So, one, two, three, four. Yeah, five. This will be the final event. And then... We'll finish off this story next episode. So guys, I hope you all are ready for the finale of the Season 1 story. Four months since the accident, October 13th. Since the accident, I've been up in my game. There isn't a lug nut I haven't tied to myself. We're going into the gauntlet with the most finely tuned cars we've ever had. The most finely tuned cars, but we're still going into the gauntlet with just one driver. We might have some news on that. Sorry I'm late. Had a call that went on a bit too long. How are you missing your best driver? She wanted it to be a surprise. How tough has the recovery been for you after the injury? 
I've been asked this question a lot, and I will answer one last time. Of course, it is tough. I wake up and it's not there. It's... Let me be clear, I'm nowhere near the end of this. I have many obstacles to overcome. You may. Sure you're ready for this? Face it. You couldn't keep me off the truck if you tried. Let's do this. <laughs> I have the support of the whole team, and coming back is my decision. Let's go by the championship, yeah. baby. We have made modification to the cars, and I have to relearn. But it's just part of the story. I'm still Yume Tanaka. Seneca's number one driver. Seneca, Raven West, Volts. Yumi Tanaka making an unthinkable comeback. Seneca's number 22 poised on the brink of sports history this year. This is shaping up to be the most dramatic end of season we have ever had. And I either have to win the finale or help you may win it. Yume wants to shake off the cobwebs and get used to the modified car before her first race back. Give her a race and don't hold back. She's still fast. Oh, are we doing a time trial? Yume feels ready to race again. Have a race with Yume. Yes! <gasps> it, I don't believe my eyes! I forgot about this! I forgot the Aguero was even in the game! I forgot it was even in the game! We're driving a Koenigsegg Aguero, guys! Let's keep this close. Let's keep our friends close and our enemies closer. Actually, this is a good event to end off on. This really is a good event to end off on. Let's keep our friends close and our enemies closer. Ah! So that's a a turn that we need to work on. I believe this is Brand's Hatch. I think. Maybe. Also, if you guys want me to do Project Cars 2 at some point, I'd have to order one. But, guys, let me know if you all would want to see me do some Monza Oval. Yeah, the Monza Oval in Project Cars 2. Let me know. Because I would love to do that for you all. Let me pause so I can fix my headset real quick. My ear's itching. And... I, I'm i not going to lie, that's the same turn that I mess up in um, uh, a set of course. Uh, that that spin-off game, because I can't really pronounce the word. I know it starts with comp. Pretty sure we're at Brand Hatch. Yeah, we're back in this fight, baby. So we've had two cars in this episode that I've really been excited for in this game for this series. The stock car I knew was in the game, and I forgot this was the... I forgot this car was even in the game, and I just spun it. We have a six second faster lead.
Genuinely, if I remember correctly, this is the only track I've won in in that game as well. So yeah, I've gotten used to this track a little bit. It's not exactly one of my favorite tracks, but it's still a track I really like. It's a track I really enjoy racing on, for sure. Why would you remove the pedals? You wouldn't be able to drive unless you're driving with hand controls. Which would make sense. And we're going to take it back to the line, and that is going to end off this event and probably this video. Let's do it. Well, guys, with that being said, I hope you all did enjoy this episode. If you would love to see more NASCAR content, Keep subscribed to me, leave a like and subscribe, but also, don't forget to go check out Michael Roots. Number one rule about Roots Club, tell everybody about Roots Club or Jim I will come find you and he will kick your door open. I know that's not what Michael says, but I, I, I'm going to keep it clean on my end. Jim I! Also go check out these other wonderful YouTubers who's... Channels will also be in the description below. Bundle Cap Snap and SWDJ Gaming. And with that being said, this will be Messenger Gaming signing off. For goodbye and good luck. Goodbye.